Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Boston University and to our School of Management. My name is Sandra Procopio. I'm the Assistant Dean for the Undergraduate Program, and I thought you were going to be bringing good weather with you today. So I'm very disappointed, <laughs> but I hope the time that you have inside of this building and around campus will be such that you will forget about the drizzle that's outside. We have a terrific program planned for you today where you will be, um, be able to speak with all of our students, our faculty, our staff, some of our alumni, and I hope this will be something that you will remember and that you will take away with you when you think about the decision that you're going to have to make. I congratulate all of the students on your acceptance to Boston University and to our School of Management. We're very excited about hosting you today and have the opportunity to show you our school. Your job today, students and parents, is to ask your questions and to have them answered. To start off the program, I'd like to introduce one of our current students who's going to speak to you from the student perspective. Sean Muller comes to Boston University from Mansfield, Massachusetts, about an hour south of Boston. He is completing a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration with a concentration in Accounting. Sean has been very active at both the school and the university level serving as a coordinator for the Community Service Center's Alternative Spring Break Program. He also served as an accounting teaching assistant, acted on the Telly award-winning BU TV show, Welcome Back Broader, and is currently serving as president of our school's Locke Honorary Service Society, which is dedicated to student tutoring and community service. Sean has also just been tapped for a very prestigious university award, the Scarlet Key Society, and has been hired as a tax professional by Price Waterhouse Coopers. Please join me in welcoming Sean Muller. Thank you, Dean Procopio. And I want to say a special congratulations to you, the admitted students, and your families. This is an amazing accomplishment, and you should be very proud. Four years ago, I was sitting in the audience listening to a student speaker at open house, just like you are today. Maybe some of you feel like I did then. I really didn't want to be here. Um, I had already visited here and taken the traditional tour, and I remember it was raining, and thinking to myself, just get me home in time to watch the Patriots game. I had applied to a ton of schools, and Boston University was completely out of my mind as an option um, until open house rolled around. And I have to say, this is what changed it for me. It was nice to be able to split up from my parents and explore the sections I wanted to explore, as well as the mock classroom exercise. Doing a real case, participating, Receiving positive feedback from my instructor, I just felt so comfortable in the classroom. And at that moment, moment, I knew I could really see myself doing this for the next four years. It is really easy to get involved in BU with our hundreds of student organizations. And through my involvements, I have built up strong social and professional networks. These networks have allowed me to travel and explore new interests. Through my involvement in the university's community service center, I had the opportunity to lead a group of 15 BU students to Kentucky for a week-long service trip, where our major accomplishment was rebuilding a kitchen. It was a scene I'll never forget, walking into a house and seeing half of the kitchen sunken in. So throughout the week, we tore the floor up and rebuilt it anew. Needless to say, I was definitely outside of my comfort zone. But through this incredible experience, I was able to gr uh, work on my leadership abilities. My network has also brought me to YouTube, as a good friend of mine in the College of Communications reached out to me to see if I would be an actor in his BU TV series. And I'm not going to say it was all me, but the show ended up winning numerous awards and was even featured on Boston.com. 
the opportunities are endless being in Boston. And as I've said, there's such a great benefit to being surrounded by such a diverse and motivated student body. I knew pretty early on that accounting was something I was going to be interested in. So I focused my search on the big four accounting firms during my sophomore year. I attended a student alumni networking event hosted by the Feld Career Center and made sure to speak to the head of recruiting at PricewaterhouseCoopers, who was a BU graduate. I struck up a conversation about the Red Sox and BU's accounting department, and she liked me, took my resume. I then went in for an interview and landed a position at their summer leadership program. I then went on to uh, intern in their Boston office as a tax associate where I spent the summer doing tax returns for hedge funds. At the end of my internship, I was given a full-time offer, which I gladly accepted. I will now be, I will start working with PwC in, in October and plan to use the summer to study and complete my CPA exam. I still keep in touch with the Price Waterhouse Coopers recruiter that I met at the Feld Career Center event, and she has been instrumental in my decision to continue on with the company as well as helped me build up my network within PwC. I wouldn't have made these connections and had such a fulfilling college experience without getting outside of my comfort zone, putting my neck out there, and being proactive about my education, career, and life. The School of Management and the extensive career services offered by the Feld Career Center provide you with the opportunities to be successful, but you need to take advantage of them. That is why my advice to you today is to be proactive and open-minded. I know that BU is an expensive school, but my parents and I will agree that this was an amazing investment because of the opportunities I have had and the amount of fun I've had here. It is very easy to tune out what someone is saying or just focus on only one speech, so I suggest speaking to our excellent Dean's hosts, who are students and friend of, friends of mine who can offer a variety of perspectives on BU. Ask questions to the professors and speak up in the mock classroom. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. I'm so glad I took this day seriously four years ago, and it ended up being my dream school. Decide if you can actually see yourself here at the school, taking classes, walking around, and hanging out with friends. You have to do what you're passionate about. Just be sure to land somewhere that will help you grow. I will be around between sessions if you would like to speak with me. And please do, as I really love answering questions. Um, congratulations again, and please enjoy your day. Thank you very much, Sean. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Dale Robbins, Assistant Dean of Students, who will give you a brief glimpse into student life here at Boston University. Please join me in welcoming Dale Robbins. Thank you. Good morning and welcome. I'm a member of a team of faculty, staff, and administrators who are here to help with your transition to BU and throughout the next four years. As you're about to discover, our students are passionate about learning both in and outside of the classroom. They're curious, always looking to take on new challenges, to test themselves, to try new things, and to make a difference. They're also on the move. They move across campus, around Boston, and across the globe. Judging by all of your accomplishments, we know you're eager to challenge yourself, too. With 147 on-campus residences grouped into six residential areas, you'll have a wide variety of housing options to choose from. BU students embrace change, and they love the challenge of living in all six residential campuses before they graduate. The on-campus residences are vibrant, dynamic living learning environments, places where you can establish lifelong friendships, find your way, get to know faculty outside of the classroom, discuss art, literature, and film over a meal in the dining hall, or explore language and culture through specialty housing. The residences are staffed by 42 full-time professional staff, nearly 280 resident assistants, and 16 faculty residents. 
Their role is to help students solve problems, build community, promote safety, and offer diverse programming from lectures to day trips and social activities. With dozens of faculty and staff who live on campus, many of whom have young families, our residences are truly safe and diverse communities. Here's how the next four years might look for you. During your first year, you might start by living in Warren Towers, which is in the center of campus next to the College of Communication. Or you might try West Campus, which surrounds Nickerson Field and is near the Fitness and Recreation Center, also known as FitRec. And I hope you have an opportunity to visit both locations today or both residences today. Both areas feature dining halls and specialty floors. West Campus is also home to New Balance Field, which opens this September. Now, during your second year, you might want to check out the towers in, on Bay State Road. It's a smaller residence with single-sex floors, and it's across from the School of Education. Or try suite-style living and move to Miles Standish Hall or Danielson Hall. Both high-rise residents, high residents are located on East Campus on the edge of Kenmore Square and are steps away from this building. For your third year, you might head to South Campus to try more independent apartment living. The South Campus Brownstones are just a short walk away from Fenway Park. Or you could opt to live at 10, based at 10 Buick Street or 33 Harry Aganis Way, the newest residences on campus with some of the best views of Boston. For your senior year, you could stay in South Campus, 10 Buick Street or 33 Harry Aganis Way, or you could move to the Bay State Road Brownstones. They're smaller residences that overlook the Charles River and the Esplanade. If you're lucky enough to get a river view, you might be able to catch some of the head of the Charles Regatta from your room. As a management student, you have the option to live on a specialty floor geared to SMG students. The specialty floors are located in Warren Towers and Towers. There's also a management house, a small brownstone, located at 161 Bay State Road. Regardless of where you live, you'll want to join and plan events sponsored by your Residence Hall Association, or RHA for short. The RHAs host a variety of programs from theater nights to apple picking, bike trips, guest speakers, and karaoke night. The Miles Birthday Party, an RHA-sponsored event, is a tradition at Boston University dating back 63 years. Next, I'd like to highlight some of the extracurricular activities and services available at, at BU. But before I do, I have a short video for you. Here we go. Thank you.
good video captures some of the spirit and energy on our campus. Um, and as you can, I hope you get the feel from the video about how often our students move, because our students move across the city. Um, the Community Service Center, and, and Sean is very active with the, with the CSC. It offers 13 student-run programs and is in its 26th year. Through the CSC, you could tutor elementary school children, assist with a food rescue program, or help children enjoy music through the Making Music Foundation. You can also volunteer with Global Days of Service, another tradition at BU, where over 800 students and alumni volunteer around the city of Boston and around the globe. The first year student outreach program, also known as FISOP, is a week-long program open only to incoming first year and transfer students. Each August, incoming students fan out across Boston and volunteer with hundreds of organizations from healthcare to human rights. This past August, nearly 1,000 students completed 25,000 hours of service. Through FISOP, you'll have an opportunity to become acclimated to BU and the city of Boston before the start of classes. FISOP is very popular and fills up quickly, so my advice is to sign up early. Each year during spring break, hundreds of students travel to over two dozen sites uh, to volunteer with the Alternative Spring Break Program. This year, over 400 students performed 20,000 hours of service at 39 sites across the, across the U.S. Our students travel to Maryland, Tennessee, Puerto Rico, Nebraska, Michigan, and the list goes on. They worked in a pet shelter. They rebuilt an urban community garden. They helped children with special needs, and they volunteered with Habitat for Humanity. As a leader in high school, we know you're passionate about causes. You'll want to build on this experience and explore leadership opportunities at BU with over 520 student organizations to choose from, and they're all coordinated by our student activities office. You're sure to find something that interests you. You'll have an opportunity to ski in New Hampshire with the ski club, travel with the equestrian team, participate in a poetry slam, or sing with an a cappella group. You could help host a fashion show, coordinate a movie night, or sponsor a dance marathon for charity. You can choose from club sports like the fencing club and ultimate frisbee or performing arts groups such as the BU band. You could join a Greek letter organization and then there are religious groups such as the inner strength gospel choir. You also have dozens of cultural organizations to choose from including Brazilian, African, Cape Verdean, Albanian, Korean, Cuban American, Taiwanese and Turkish. There's also spectrum for gay, lesbian, bi, transgender students and friends. There's always something to do here at BU. If you're on campus during the last couple of weeks, you would have had an opportunity to attend the Back Bay Ball, to, expel, to explore healthy options through the wellness sphere, and, and enjoy a night of comedy with Seth Meyers of SNL fame. You also could have stopped by the Hawaiian Cultural Asso Asso Association's Luau, or picked up a few tips at the Interviewing for Success workshop, or perhaps grabbed a seat at the Jazz Jam Festival. Now, during your first two years in Boston, you'll want to explore the city and visit Faneuil Hall, the Music Museum of Fine Arts, and the Isabella Stewart Garden Museum. You'll also want to walk the Freedom Trail, attend concerts at Symphony Hall, and check out Boston's sports scene. Once you've mastered the city, you're going to want to see what else is out there. BU students like to get out and explore, which is why studying abroad is so popular on our campus. BU is a leader in international education and was among the first to offer internships around the globe. The, our students study in over 30 destinations uh, from London to Sydney to Auckland to Dresden to Paris. It's a very long list. What better way to challenge yourself and be inspired? And your financial aid travels with you, which is another incentive to pack your bags and go. Now, with all of your study abroad options, you might need some help narrowing your search. My advice is to stop by the Howard Thurman Center in the lower level of the GSU. The Thurman Center is celebrating its 27th year and works closely with the Study Abroad Office to help students find their niche both on campus and around the globe. The center celebrates diversity through films, lectures, and discussions and is open to all students. Our Disability Services Office helps students to take full advantage of all the opportunities available at Boston University, both on campus and abroad. Whether you need accommodations in the classroom or access to text, don't wait to contact Disability Services for advice and support. You'll need help fitting all of your study abroad internship and community service experience on your resume. That's where the Feld Career Center as well as our Center for Career Development comes in. The center is located in the new East Campus Student Center and offers mock interviews, resume writing reviews, career fairs, and dozens of workshops to help you put your best foot forward in the job market. And when you stop by the new center, 
Be sure to sign up for the tutoring and academic support offered through the Educational Resource Center. The ERC will help you excel in the classroom and improve the quality of your written work. You can choose from one-on-one -on -one support or attend one of the dozens of study skills workshop, workshops offered throughout the year. After a visit upstairs to polish up your resume and practice interviewing, stop downstairs at Marciano Commons. It's a two-level, state-of-the-art dining hall where all of the meals are prepared right in front of you. The second level features vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, and international stations. A typical menu includes braised salmon, spinach vegetable risotto, black bean enchiladas, orange beef stir-fry, and the menu changes every month. You'll never have the same meal. You can dine with friends near the ellipse or grab a quieter table by the fireplace. On the ground level, you'll find pasta, fresh pastries, and desserts all made on site, along with salads, sandwiches, brick oven pizza, and hamburgers. Marciano Commons is just one of three dining halls to choose from on campus and offers a wide selection of options our students have come to expect. We hope to see you during orientation this summer. As a new student, you'll have an opportunity to choose your classes, meet other incoming students from across the country, and check out your new home. In the interim, you can follow us on Twitter and friend us on Facebook. You can check out what's happening on campus by reading BU Today or visiting the Dean of Students website. Our staff will support, guide, and look out for you while you challenge yourself and discover your new passions. The support services we offer will help empower you and give you the confidence you need to push yourself further and accomplish the goals you've set for yourself. I look forward to seeing you during orientation this summer and again this fall. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Dale. Before I review the day's activities with you, I'd like to speak directly to the students. This is an exciting time in your life. You're preparing to close one chapter with your high school graduation and open another one with a decision on where you'll attend college. It's a big decision and one that you have to make as a family. Let me assure you, as well as your parents, that here at the School of Management, you will have staff and faculty who will mentor and support you throughout your time with us. There's no reason for you to ever feel alone. From day one, freshmen can turn to their faculty advisors, their teaching assistants, and professional academic advisors in the undergraduate program office. It's important to know that students are very well supported throughout all four years in the School of Management, not just as freshmen. But advisors and faculty members can only do so much. We consider our students adults, and we treat them that way. We expect that they will take initiative and rise to the challenge of being educated in all respects, not just in the classroom. We know that you're bright, this is the most talented pool of admitted students in Boston University's history. But we want to make certain that you are prepared to work hard and love working hard and know why you're working hard. I'm certain that you'll get a glimpse of this today in our sessions and also when speaking to members of our School of Management family. And now let's review the program we have planned for you today. We have a number of volunteers from the school with us today, all of whom are here to act as resources for you. Our volunteers can be identified by their name tags. Anyone with a silver name tag like mine is from the undergraduate program office, part of the School of Management, or part of the Office of Admissions. Our student volunteers are wearing name tags with red ribbons that read student host, and our faculty obviously are wearing similar name tags with blue ribbons. Finally, there is another group of student volunteers who will be conducting tours later on in the day. They are our dean's hosts and are wearing the scarlet red jackets, and I'm sure you've already met with a number of them and had good conversations this morning before our program began. We also have e-hosts, a term we use for current students who are available via email for you to ask about Boston University and our school. They are a great way to learn about the school from the student perspective and are wearing hot pink buttons. 
You should have already received an introductory email from your e-host, but after today, you are more than welcome to email any one of them if you have any questions or would like to keep in contact with a School of Management student. There is a profile sheet for the e-hosts in your student packets so you can see where they're from and what their interests are. At this point, I'd like to discuss the agenda for today. You each have a copy of the agenda in your packets as well. Immediately following the welcome, students and guests will split up with families going to individual rooms to do a case study with some of our faculty members. You identify the room by the color of the sticker on your folder. Students, you will be going to different classrooms for your case study with faculty, and your room assignment will also be identified by a letter on your packet label. Following the case study presentations, you will have a choice of concurrent sessions. The first begins at 10, the second begins at 11. The room assignments are on the agenda. You have choices from the following menu, from student to young professional. Because this is such an important discussion and the group today is quite large, we have assigned this session to you by alphabetical order. So last names ending in A through K will attend this panel during the first session and the L through Z group will attend it during the second session. I believe you will find it extremely informative and helpful as you can ask questions of current students and very recent graduates about life during and after college. We then have several panels for you to learn about expanding your horizons. We have Expanding your horizons through academics, an opportunity to hear from current students who are accomplishing academic programs outside of the School of Management, such as minors and dual degrees. You have exploring your horizons through the study abroad panel. Current students will discuss different broad opportunities and the study abroad array of locations and programs offered through Boston University and the School of Management. You will also have a student life panel. Learn how students enrich their time outside of the classroom with organizations, community service, fitness, and more. Families, I'd encourage you to split up so you can maximize the number of sessions you get to see besides the current student and young alumni panel. After the second concurrent session is completed, we ask that everyone return here to the auditorium well, where you will hear from our Dean, Ken Freeman. After Dean Freeman has spoken, I welcome you to join us for lunch at Warren Towers Dining Hall, where there will be faculty, staff, and students on hand to answer any additional questions that you may have. If you didn't have an opportunity to take a tour earlier today, building tours will leave from the atrium at 2.15 and 2.30. An announcement will be made before each of our tour leaves. From two to four, the campus will be open to you to tour. With your Terrier Pass, you can visit dorms, the library, the student union, take a campus tour, visit the Fit Rec Center, among other opportunities. All of your options, entitled Explore Your Campus, are identified on the back of your agenda. Students, now I'd like to invite you to turn your attention to the label on the front of your packet. There's quite a bit of key information on the label, so I'd briefly like to review it. If you have indicated, <clears throat> if you have indicated you'd like a financial aid appointment or are interested in discussing, discussing financial aid on a one-to-one -one setting, you can visit the undergraduate program office here on the first floor for a walk-in appointment anytime prior to 1230. If you are interested in learning about financial aid in general, there will be a session offered as part of your exploring your campus this afternoon. Your letter assignment for the case study session called Netflix appears in the lower right corner. You can find the corresponding room number on the agenda. Everyone, please check your packet label for your case study room assignment. Your room number is on the agenda. They're all on the second and third floors and there will be Dean's host to help you find your way I'd also like to remind you for the Netflix case session, you need to take out of the packet those tent cards with your name on it and make sure the whole family has their cards and also has their name tags because they're gonna be used in the next session. 
Most importantly, enjoy your day, and please do not hesitate to ask your questions. We are more than welcome to help you. Again, congratulations, and I hope to welcome you as a member of the class of 2017.